Hi, everyone. It's Open House Thursday on Your View. Welcome to the show. I am Morayo Afolabi Brown. As always, I have my lovely co host. Hi, ladies. Hi. 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 Nima in the building. Hello. How you doing, Nima? I'm very fine this morning. I drove, left the house much earlier. And thanks to my neighbors, because they saw I was late yesterday, they offered to take over my children. Yeah. And make sure that I don't have to worry about school runs while I'm. Your neighbors are very nice. Like they're neighbors. just very. Huh? They're aged people. Are, uh, you know, elder, elderly people, and you know they think they must also take me as their child, and I, I appreciate that. I think it's also the way you've taken them. Yes, yeah, I so. appreciate all their, their uh, support all the time. Uh, but me, I want to shout out to I've the always. tigress. Yay. Yes, <laughs> the tigress, they've been doing fantastic. Mm -hmm. I didn't even expect the tigress, our uh, basketball, basketball female team. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. World Cup, female, the international female basketball, female basketball team. team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, that's uh, yeah. <laughs> so you know, usually Nigerians so, uh, and in the basketball, we've never really gone far. So, I was Especially expecting stage. first stage out of the game. Mm -hmm. So, then quarter finals, quarter finals, finals. Yes. fantastic. Well Argentina, done to the ladies. out, Greece, out. Ah. Hold on oh, to the ladies. Oh, they oh, they 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 76, 75. Oh, it was a very close match. Yeah. And match. our president, while he's in the US, has even commended them, yeah. saying that they've made Nigeria yeah, proud. I thought we should wait first. Let them don't even get to final. But they've broken yeah, a lot of records. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They've broken records already. The first African team to win two matches at the World Series. Yeah. So, so, these are in the building. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm fine. So what's up? Anything interesting planning for the weekend? Well, my weekend is going to be quite busy. I have reports coming up. And then it's going to spill into next week as well. We have a training oh. coming up. Oh, well. that's uh, nice. Training of women. So what do you do after? Do you have a life? I life? I just have a question. Uh, Share any life. Very big question because even when you think you're uh, off duty, you're planning for the next day. So you're always busy mm -hmm. while you're less busy. Yeah, nice. Cool. So what's, what's, what's the high point of being a journalist? At the high point, well, uh, you, you get recognized most of the time. Though many think our reward is in heaven, but we're trying to change the narrative. <laughs> yeah, <me>. Hence <laughs> the kind of training I'm going for next week, which uh. is to prepare female journalists for uh, leadership positions. Fantastic, Yay. nice. So you're looking to politics oh. in the future? Ah, well, hey. that's that's really fantastic. Well, yeah, it's yeah. possible. Cool. <laughs> Zoom, <laughs> Zoom. And, the building. and they're doing some training actually for um, women and saying that we must, you know, Affirm the affirmative action yes. of having 35% yeah. of women mm. across all mm. political posts. Mm. I'm mm. amazing and I'm very grateful to God. I'm very excited about a 25 year old lady um, who started a business in September and she's going to make her first one million naira. Ah. I'm so, her name is Bukala. I'm very, very proud and happy for her. Our business moves to South Africa in four days. Mm. But aside from all of that, I'm is well rested. Are you, are you traveling? Let us know ahead of time. Let us know ahead of time. So your father will not be asking me, where is Jim Market? She's saying now. I, I will you let you know. know. Okay. I will let you all know. Right. <laughs> so aside from all of that, um, did you people listen to the, the president's speech? At the UN General Assembly? No, we did not. Why? <laughs> you are not even patriotic. Yes. I did. listen yes. by page six. Governor Obaseki has slept off. I knew you were going there. <laughs> I just knew you were going <laughs> there. Typical joke. What was there? the crux of you the conversation? Right? 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 Some people are dancing their way to governor's office. And you are still talking about something like that. My governor was fatigued. To say about he that was dancing. jet lagged. There are words for it. He traveled to the US. Jet lag yes. is a word for tiredness when you have traveled <laughs> long distances. Yes. And why the speech of your president is too long? My Please. governor was tired. Somebody should tell Jumoke that before she starts complaining about the president, you should worry about her state that they don't have a governor They don't have a governor. Yeah, what, they, they, at the risk of somebody <laughs> dancing to governor's office. Your faith will be, to be worse than me. that of a kitty in four years. They have not paid us for three years. Can we dance? Calm down. <laughs> Say hello. Oh, dance. Dance. All right. I had an eventful day yesterday. I mean, when I say eventful, I mean I spent half the day in the police station with oh, wow. the, one of my colleagues in the office uh -huh. got into a bit of trouble and I had to deal with police and yeah, lawyer. And, and, and lawyer people and courts. I mean, uh. I mean, Falake Falana was there to help us out. You know, it was yeah. it was it was it was an eventful day. I mean. It's a, it's a story for another day. Ah. All the intrigues, all the police, the police how you manage Ogudu, how you manage the police, the, the emotional the intelligence, all oh, just so much stuff. But I'm so grateful to the magistrates. Um, 
Uh, I think Mrs. Funke Ogunje, she was fantastic, very, very yeah. compassionate lady, and I was, it was fun. And the DPU, everybody, everybody did well. And I want to, I want to say thank you to one honorable that helped me, but I'm not sure he would like me to mention his name, but yeah. the honorable actually intervened and actually assisted us. I mean, God bless you. Thank you so much. About it was an eventful day. And yesterday was Google. Google was 20 yesterday. I was invited for the, they had this thing, Google at, Google at 20 mm. event yesterday. When would they come the with Because we do them. Right. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, Googling it was fun okay. yesterday. It was cool. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let's you rush out. Stop getting into trouble, shall we? Google, have you? No, no, it's better no, to avoid yeah. trouble. Oh, that's a, mm. oh, that's a story for another day. That day, I'll, I'll still break down my experience at that place yesterday. <laughs> but let's talk about it another time. Let's go on a break. When we come back, we'll go through the front pages of the newspaper. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> right. There are only about five stories in the papers. All they are all saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. The punch. Labor begins nationwide strike today. We heard about that yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, the meeting with federal government ends in deadlock. Mm -hmm. Oshun rerun. Omishiro caves in to pressure supports APC. Mm -hmm. Omishiro <coughs> is on his own. No, says PSDB. Chiba girls lawyers sue federal government demands reports on rescue efforts. Nine passengers die as driver rams into stationary truck. Mm -hmm. Wicked deaths PDP over convention venue, and. Governor Amber says, I am ready for primaries after his meeting with the GAC. Huh. Right. Um, the Chiba girls, I wanted to take that story like it's our human interest. Um, Funke Falano, is that her first yes. name? Is yes. F. Falano. Yeah. Um, uh, um, representing Falano and Falano Chambers is taking the federal government and the AGF. Uh, Malami to court over suing them actually and not asking for any monetary compensation but just saying that listen since April 2014 112 Chibok girls have been left in captivity from 276 of them that were adopted and asking for their immediate and immediate and they gave them timelines that immediate rescue that the, the federal government has been quiet about Chibok girls. We can't just allow a hundred and twelve girls. She wanted the reports on their rescue. On a monthly Let's basis. What she gave them timeline, yeah. no. This is a big opportunity. Jumoke just established the basis. For me, negotiations were done for the girls that were released. Negotiations were done for the Dapchi girls that were returned, except yes. for Leah. So negotiations shouldn't have ex been exhausted till now until they get the other girls back. And it seemed to me, based on the Boko Haram's report, they stopped negotiating Damn. with them. That's the problem for me. You people already exchanged something. Kukuma finished exchanging. Hey, but Let okay. us get these girls back. Because yes. Leah's mother now is asking for 500 million. Benny. And she has every right to sue the IGP for failing in his duties. Well, if you need somebody yes, I, to compel I, I, them to do their talking job. About Leah Sharibu alone, like, and like the lawyer said, what about the remaining Chibok school girls? Who yes. is talking about them? What exactly. about their plight? What is happening? What is the federal government doing? Right. Well, the federal government has said that maybe it's in talks with some international partners to see what could be done. But then, right. because of the statement from Boko Haram, uh, Nigerians now know that the federal government is doing close to nothing. nothing. Exactly. What we so know now. The is on their tail. Like, mm. she saw an affidavit Let, um, in the street. Then, uh, let's move let's, on to the nation. Let's okay. Move. okay. Omishere, my alliance with APC will give Oyetala victory. Mm -hmm. Wicked presents PDP over convention venue. FG states share 741 billion naira. Uh, minimum wage, labor begins strike today. I'm ready for primary, says Ambody. And Fidelity Bank's profit rises to 13 billion. Okay, so let's talk about our, our governor. He says he's ready yes, for so, the primaries. So the governor's uh, commissioner for information, Kendi Bamibeto, has come out to tell us the, the silence. intentions of the governor to go ahead at the uh, direct primaries of Lagos State over the weekend. This Saturday. Saying that, you know, they are ready for whatever the GAC as well as yes, every other... Yes, governor is a fighter. He's not giving up. Yes, the, go for it, I governor. I appreciate that. But so Wolu's camp also replied and said, okay, that's better for us. Benny, so we meet on Saturday. It's more democratic, so let's have a primary. Please, we will discuss <laughs> them on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about this strike called by... Yes, uh, go ahead. ...organized labor. I just want to uh, give the extra information I read, I think in one of the papers, mm -hmm. that um, actually when the Minister of Labor called the meeting, you know, to meet with officials of organized labor, they didn't want to honor it in the first place mm. because they said they are demand was clear. It was for the federal government to reconvene the tripartite new minimum wage yeah. committee. Uh, but and the Minister of Labor <coughs> then later said, after they met anyway, and then Labor said it would go ahead with the strike, then it said that the 14-day ultimatum didn't get to the federal government. Right. How 
I still wonder, really, because it was <laughs> everywhere. Well, and that aside, he has given assurance that by next week, Thursday, right. the tripartite committee would reconvene. Okay. Uh, please, though, when I was younger, if labor calls strike, in the days of uh, Adams Oshomole, mm -hmm. you will go and stock your house with mm -hmm. food because nobody will come out. This yes, morning, I was wondering, where is this strike? Ah. Because, honestly, they've lost the trust of a lot of people over the years, and they know why. So... Even when it is as as government gives you, as as just go and take. As we as will as not China sit at home for you. Strike. So the T T U C, the N L C, and the U L C yes. are in agreement that there's a consensus on this particular one. And this morning, coming through my own route, I thought that the strike had taken effect. It didn't take effect the, in my own the area. The traffic stopped at my side. Well. Is the businessmen have taken advantage and let's move on. on the road. But please, what they're asking for is a meeting to start. But now that the federal government has said next week Thursday, are they going to continue with the strike? Oh, well, the, yeah, the strike is actually a warning strike. Seven warning days warning strike anyway. Okay. So let's just see how it's Let's move on now to Daily Sun, Oshun Zero Hour. Gun, 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 gun. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Adele K. Oetela in final battle. Mm. Intrigues, horse trading as Omishere agrees to work for APC in a rerun poll. <laughs> you trade off if a people find it candidate tells STB party candidates. <laughs> you could have read it better. Oh, my it's Lord. Like this right is, I'm telling you, this is that Axel time. <laughs> okay. In more impeachment saga. Why my deputy is fighting Mrs. Okoroja. Uh -huh. 2019 president is a yeah. one sentence. <laughs> trust me, I'll say that one. 2019 presidency, we get one's PDP. I'm ready for APC primary season, buddy, and strike NLC orders total shutdown as meeting with FG ends in deadlock. All right, so what uh, Governor Kocha was just saying that the reason why his deputy is fighting me is because he's not supporting for deputy, uh, for, for, Sanke, for governor. Yeah. I was saying for government. Uh, but, but, uh, but when they re removed him also, does wrong. he not have a right uh, to be fighting back? So no, that was. Thank you. Please. <laughs> why, please, I no, it's been overturned now. It's been overturned, right? And the court has overturned it. It's the high now. court of Imo State that overturned it. Uh, they are not saying the judges are wrong, but you know, they erred in their judgment. And so they are going on appeal. While they are going on appeal, the court had said, move back to status quo. So yes. that resumes immediately. immediately. Yes. No, every, every of his um, entitlement, his details, security have been reinstated. Is fantastic. Okay, let's talk about Ocean State for a second. Uh -huh. well, who so read that story? What's going on in Ocean State? A lot is going on. In mm -hmm. fact, like, I love the way Just you read it. Just me, what I, happened? I love the way you read hmm. it. Eh? It's like a movie right now. Eh? You know, many thought Omishore was going to support um, eh? the PDP. We we were so. In fact, eh, only for him to come out to say that <sighs> somehow the APC has assured him that they would adopt his, the SDB uh, structure and, of... Mm. Um, uh, Good governance, accountability, ah, so. and you know, security, security and pay, all. salaries, salary payments, yes. pension payments, and all I that. I read mm. his press release, right? And he was just saying to everyone that um, <laughs> he has only one vote. People should vote who they believe in that would, you know, do all these five things that the SDP believes in. But this uh, thing going around that is now supporting APC, there are lots of theories going oh, about okay. that no 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 i'm like, not going to even like mention the chairman of the sdp came out well whatever he said was strong enough for Falai. the chairman of the party Falai, to come out to say that we are not in support of what no no he's he, 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 yes. no he himself, Falai is, speaking for himself. Is, Falai is speaking for himself uh, hey, me, oh. only him is, uh, is we but you have to remember that <laughs> the father of Mishuri is an oba in that region. So let's not keep, Falai can say what he wants to say. Yes, but there are people. The Mishore family actually in Ife, Ile, Ife, they're very strong. Yes, yeah, so yeah. But let's not take it for granted. Whatever happens today, Sha, may but the Oshun people now there was get a, a governor who There was a salary. phrase my husband used though. Yeah, ah, can you call Mishore to sue? Have you, uh, 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 is she, Mishore? Is she, 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 Let's move on to Vanguard. <laughs> Banks fuel supply crippled as labor strikes begins. CBN revokes sizes of 182 financial institutions. Recall of Paris Club refund. Governors resolve to use fund for salaries. Obasan just some spawns that's back. Buhari for second term. Oshomali reads Riot Act to state escorts on primaries. And Oshunri run Omishri had like a resist stakes. Okay. Mm. So he's hasn't back, so he's just putting himself out saying that he's available for to work for the campaign of the re-election of the president. Maybe today, him and his father have been fighting. Well, well, I was in Tegu Shaw. Oluju was was Well, Oluju Shaw have given them <laughs> a riot after all these uh, escorts across states that are, you know, <clears throat> determining direct and indirect, and, you know, doing things according to their whims and caprices. Ogami have told them, Conform with party's plan. <laughs> or 
you risk, fact, he said, you risk removal. He said explicitly that they shouldn't compromise the process, that yes. no state executive is too big enough for the NWC exactly. not to remove this case. Please, I'm confused. Shaf, Shaf. Shaf. Is it direct or is it indirect? No, it no. depends on whatever, state state, whatever process what they, want. they want. So, so whatever process states. you adopt, you stick to it exactly. and don't compromise the process. Gotcha. All right. Okay. Our final paper this morning is uh, New Telegraph. Very quickly, <laughs> Labour shuts down Nigeria. We talked about that already. Why I threatened to kill Atiku, rape his wife and daughters. Mm. Ah. That was just... Uh, we read that story. Mm. And uh, we can't the PDP over national convention. And as I said, Oshun is all over the paper. Mm. Tribune, the same thing. Oshun, Omishore, Omishore forms coalition with APC, Fala, ESB, leaders kick. And uh, I think that's about it. Let's run off on front page review. So hopefully by the end of this, since it's just... About seven, 2,000 people voting or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. No. Seven should, no, shop, shop, yeah. seven polling units. No, shop, shop, seven polling units. Yes. Like by 12 o'clock. Yeah, we spoke know. with the uh, one of the escorts of INEC yesterday that he said if, if everything went to plan today, that it was possible for the result to be announced even later today. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, 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 we're waiting. Everybody's waiting. We are waiting, no. Is it Please, is it your state? We are waiting. It is a movie, really. <laughs> it's all our we state now. The whole of Nigeria is waiting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all we can take <laughs> on front page review. When we come back, hmm, we'll be discussing parenting for the single parents and those who are divorced. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So recently, the issue of co-parenting has come to the fore with the increase of baby mamas mm. and absentee fathers. Mm. Single mothers are having trouble raising children with the father figure whilst divorced parents are having trouble getting other spouse to participate in the child's development. Mm -hmm. Join us to share some light on how to go about this is a family life, our own personal family life practitioner, ben an you. expert and author. Is an out-of-the-box parenting, Mr. Praise Fuowe. Welcome to the show, Praise. Good to be here. Good to be so here. you can call us on 070 You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. Recently, we've been hearing lots of stories about, aside from celebrities, even regular people, where things, each life happens where people become single parents. Yeah. Um, and many times in, in this part of the world, it's the mother that usually ends up with the responsibility. Mm -hmm. Now, we are getting more and more aware that both parents need to participate. But there's always been a difficulty on how do I get somebody who I probably hate or I have no relationship with or I, have, I mean, I have unresolved mm. issues with to come, to come a part of the life of my child. Mm. That's always a difficult thing for a woman yeah. to consider. Yeah. How do we even start that conversation? Okay. Um, I mean, I, I mean, there was a case that happened last week, I'm sure you, that was trending in yes. Nigeria, and I had to put a, a write up on it, to say that let's not mistake um, a, for lack of a better word, a sperm bank for a father, mm. right? Because when someone impregnates a lady and is not willing to take part in that process, the person is not actually better Different. than going for insemination, mm. picking mm. specimen from a sperm bank. Mm. Right. So to be expecting someone, because, when you talk about fatherhood, fatherhood is not someone who donates semen. Fatherhood has got to do with your ability to subscribe or live by certain levels of responsibilities, right? That's why you are called a father. Mm. It's not just an ordinary title that, you know. So we need to situate this. So sometimes it's better for that person to be absent in the life of the child mm. because, I mean, take for instance, someone you say, oh, he's a father, in the name of let us force him to, to take off his responsibility, he flaunts the child, by smoking marijuana. Ew! But I beg to differ, seen... Praise, because the truth is that in our culture, I'll come to you, Aziza, in our culture, at the end of the day, it's still woman or money, woman or money, woman or money. Because you won't name him after his father. So there's still the, and when it's time for marriage, there's all the celebration, it's your father. father. Will come in my that. own family, yeah. there was a, one of my aunts or cousins wanted to get married. This father has never been around. In fact, they practically gonna pick him up from the gutter somewhere, bathed him, dressed him up for the occasion. And after have. the party, they carried him for the wedding. Well, it was because they allowed it. I mean, I've seen situations where people have been raised. I've seen ladies who were raised without their fathers, and the man wanted to show up, and they said, no, because you are not the father. The person that raised this child is the father. I mean, and let's not be sentimental and emotional about it. There was someone that paid school fees. There was someone that showed emotional care. There was someone that provided shelter. There was someone that was there at um, open day, was there during um, uh, difficult it's moments. A house That's the father. Ew. Uh, so you're saying fatherhood, fatherhood is not by blood? One minute. It's by birth. It has to be by birth. 
okay, I am a Muslim and the child belongs to the father, the child be called by their father's name, it's an in inalienable right. You cannot transfer it just by caring to someone. It's biological, it's a, a lineage, it's a blood tie. But you know that that's, that, you that, that, that has a lifespan. Okay. So when a child is 18... Let me, let me break yeah. it down. So this child was cared for by maybe a stepdad or yeah. an uncle. On the days the rights of the fathers become... Uh, uh, they, right. They've ripened. They must be uh, accrued to him. Uh -uh. That's how it is. Well, that, that's, maybe that's it what your religion that. says. But you know that from 18 years, when a child attains adulthood, I'm talking spiritual, he has a right. I mean, there's, I mean, when we talk about spiritual, mm -hmm. you know we have no parameter to measure spirituality. There's no yes. spiritual meter. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yes. you can't measure, yes. right? A child is a human being. Once you attain the age of responsibility, which is 18, right. you have a right to decide. In fact, someone took his parents to court in America to say, I don't want this family anyone. Thank you. Right? <laughs> so we need to understand this and let's not be emotional That's about it. Okay. What is fatherhood? What kind of father are you when you were absent? Or what if the child died? Right. Mm -hmm. Right? Would you say, oh, I'm the father, I'll come and raise him? Okay, let me come in here. Uh, first off, we should get something right. It's not just the fathers that don't show up some, sometimes. Sometimes mm -hmm. mothers. Because sometimes mothers show yes. up. They just dump the babies on the fathers and they leave. Right. And then when it comes to, you know, after many years, they want to come back and, and be the mothers that right. they were never uh, to the children. That aside, um, sometimes fathers... Pressures, uh, from, first of all, I'm from a broken home as well. My parents mm -hmm. got divorced when we were quite young. But... We, my siblings and I grew up seeing our parents, you know, it was yeah. quite difficult for them anyway, even for Tuna, but they realized that it, was, it wasn't in their place to prevent us from seeing either of them. So there was this arrangement, and that is what most of the time is difficult. I want to agree with you that we are in Jetejo. <laughs> most of the time, now, I have a friend, when we were in our institution, Sorry, final year, for a he changed his father's name, his son's wow. name. He said that I want you to start not. my own family okay. from me, right. from my generation. Okay. And he started a new generation. He used the second name as his son's name. Right. Mm -hmm. He just so, decided so to do it. An adult. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go back to the word user, because I wanted him to address the issue of there's an arrangement. Yeah. Yes, he gave you the sperm, yeah. he's irresponsible, yeah. and all that. Now, how does a single mother... Mm put together an arrangement mm -hmm. such that the child has a father figure. Okay, that, that's, that's not very difficult. You see, in the parenting, there are four quadrants. Okay. You have the seed owner, the seed handler, the seed environment, and the seed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where the seed owner is God, the seed handler is the parent, foster parent, any system that takes responsibility for the child okay. is the seed handler. Right? You have um, the, the seed, which is the child, then you have the environment of the seed, mm. which is the society, churches, right. marks and support systems, and, and what have you. Now, the most important part of that entire quadrant is the seed handler. Right? Take, for instance, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs was not raised by his biological sure. parents. He was given up for adoption. Mm. If he had been raised by his biological parents, he would never have become a Steve Jobs that we'll talk about today. Now, so when you understand that, then that's where family support system comes in. Let's not forget that what we now call baby mama, baby father, at some point in this country, if you try, I mean, if you try it, you, things. I mean, you, will, you will be called all kinds of names. Mm. You'll be labeled as a girl. You'll be labeled as a flat. You'll be called all kinds of names. So it's now that we have, we're now aware that we now have a better name for it. Now, societies. you will not tell me that there's nobody in your family who can take responsibilities and assume a father figure mm. over the child. And please, let's not also get it twisted that when it comes to parenting, there are principles <coughs> and <coughs> skills required to parent a child. Yes. Once you don't have it, you don't have it. Proximity is not parenting, yes. right? Oh. You can be around your child, right? And your child will turn out badly, mm -hmm. right? Because the first skill in parenting is the skill of observation to say, what trait is your child showing? Mm. In fact, the etymology of the word parenting is the person that can bring forth the potential in the child oh, and you. bring it into ex existence. Mm. Now, so the person doing the sperm or the person who conceived may not have the capacity to do that. Mm. Right. So what you are looking for is to say, what support system do I now need? In the to, environment. To, in the environment to get the best out of this, this child. child. Mm. Once you find but that, Chris, you are good. But Chris, it's becoming quite difficult to even get a good support system now because somehow everybody is busy. So before you even get a, maybe a friend, a relative that assists you, you know, to take care of your child, when yeah. you are not there, and it's well, becoming that's another difficult. Mentality. So we now need to address, you know, what we're doing wrongly because well, there are we lots we of people whose husband and wife are together, but the father is still an absentee Please, father. Mm. Yeah. I hear what you're saying and it's possible. I enjoyed that. So I have my parents, I have family members. Everybody had a different role that they played yes. in raising me. Is it possible that it's not exactly who gave birth or who 
who is caring. Everybody could play. Somebody could be the fig, uh, uh, role figure. model figure, while someone else is, you know, the observant yeah. parent. Mm -hmm. Where everybody is coming together yes. to do the same thing. Parenting. Communal parenting. We can. That, that's possible. But is, let's not forget that an absentee father or a baby father or whatever who has run is. away is not actually bad. I mean, let's 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 not uh, be emotional about it. What of children whose father died at birth? Mm -hmm. Somebody will raise yes, them. Somebody will raise them. So let's not, once you are not present in, because let me tell you, children prefer the gift of your presence to your presence. True. Baby. So to bribe a child and take a child in a tree, I pay for a tour, I, it's nothing. <laughs> and that's why if you see a trend, a lot of children, when they grow up, their <laughs> aspiration is to take away their mother from their father and leave the father lonely because children don't even know who pays school fees. The person who shows up is the person they assume True. is paying school fees. All right, True. let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we'll continue this conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. All right, so praise. I don't want us to lose the crux of this conversation yeah. because there are some women who are hurt, mm. not because of the, of course, of the relationship. Now, it's not like they don't want their children to have a father figure, but they don't want that man in their lives. Yeah. So they deliberately um, shut, shut them out, shut them out mm. of the of the child's really, of, mm. of the child's life. Mm. In that kind of situation where the father wants to participate, mm. he wants to do. But the mother is not alone because she's hurt. How does that kind of group, how do they resolve the issue of parenting? Okay, um, that's what lady needs help. Um, and that's the first thing I do with, with single mothers, you know, especially baby mamas. I work with quite a number of them right now. Um, a lot of them are hurt, right? And they have a right to hurt. But you also need to understand that a lot of people do the best they can with what they know. Mm. Many a time, the baby father who ran away Right, he was just confused and he feels, I don't have the capacity to do this. We've made a mistake, we just thought it was gonna be sex and it's led into something else. In that confusion, it took off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you have a right to hurt. But you need to understand that when you are not whole, you can't raise a wholesome child. True. You're going to feed that child with wrong information. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if you saw mm -hmm. that mother on social media mm -hmm. who was yes, yes, instigating yes, yes. the child to say, your, your father. father is a useless mm -hmm. man. Your father is mm -hmm. a foolish man. That child is going to be damaged, yeah. right? Because the child's mentality and perception of who a man is, who a fi father mm -hmm. figure is, is going to be messed up, right? So everything, the tenets of childhood is, everything must be done in the best interest of the child. Mm -hmm. So where the man wants to participate, irrespective of the hurt that you feel, you need to get help. Okay. Right, and you need to know that what you're hurting about is subject to your interpretation. Very true. Your interpretation is not objective; it's often subjective Very true. because we see things the way we are, not the way they are. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, so you need someone to help you expand awareness to now see that hey, there could be pain in the life of this guy, and if you have actually walked through the route the guy has walked through, you almost mm -hmm. do the same mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Right, so mm -hmm. that takes you to a place of healing, right, and wholeness. And when you get to that, you now say, okay, you know what, this has happened. Even if we don't get married. Can we now be present in the life of this child, right? We don't have to always be friends and yeah. going out, but at least as mature adults, we can reconcile and for the best interest of the child and get the best of the child. Okay, so absentee mother in our culture was um, basically because the father owns the child. So mm. many women had to give up their children, not because yeah. they wanted to. Yeah. Absentee father, for instance, in Nima's religion, who wasn't there at all, then they now say he has a right. How do we juxtapose and relate with that, particularly for the child whose father was really never there? Mm. And then on my wedding, you say that you have to be there because your religion says so. Uh, well, um, again, you have to understand that there are different types of um, marriages, you know, that the law provides for. In Nigeria, I think you have customary, you have um, the civil, then you have sharia. Those are the three constitutional pro provision, right? And when you understand that, the child can decide to say, hey, if that's what your religion says, I want to do civil marriage. I want to do customary marriage. Mm. I don't want to do sharia, yeah. right? So he has a choice because at the point of marriage, he's above 18, he has attained adulthood. Yes. So he, that, that's left time. Okay, let me take this call. Morning, are you there, Shay? Good morning. I'm Thanks here. for calling. Morning. Go ahead, please. All right. I'm from a broken home. Okay. I grew up not to know my father. I know my fa stepfather as my father. At the age of 16, I now know my father. When I I said it's not my father because the stepfather takes care of me. Hello? Yes, I listen, listen to you. So my stepfather takes care of me. You can't believe it. My own father, 
my own father at the end of the day that they took me to him, he violated me, Ew. you know, and, and, and I'm still suffering for him today because at the end of the day, I, there was a day I went to meet my mother. That like, is he my father? Why my stepfather took care of me? Like, in fact, anywhere I go to, you say, ah, this is my first daughter. This is my first daughter. Nobody, but my own father, the little month I went to stay with him, he violated me. Oh. And up to today, I'm going through the pain. It's all right. Thank you, you very much, Shay, for sharing. Thank you very much, Shay, for sharing that. This is, is a very painful. Well, I, would love, I, would love to, I would love to assist Shay if we can talk. Producer uh, can keep her number. I mean, at the end of this show, I would love to walk with you to to overcome what you feel right now. But that's what we're saying. So who mm. is the father at the end of the day? Uh, which goes back to where we started from, right? The guy doesn't have the capacity. He has a pain mm. in his life, which has not been dealt with. So it was better he was kept away yeah. from, from that girl, child. right? And from, 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 from her as a girl and allow the person who is responsible to raise his but child. But at the end of the day, Pris, don't you think that uh, the society, the African society now, is even playing a role in some of these things happening? Look at what just happened to one yeah. of the, the caller. Uh, because we've established that the father must be there for the child mm -hmm. and we've heard now during these times that it's not every time you need a father figure yes. so don't you think like you said it's even better for if a woman can raise a child alone or if a man can raise a child alone to do so you know the problem we have um, I mean I love our culture uh, there's a uh, there are so many aspects of our culture that is very good but there are some cultures I don't agree with for example if you're from the Yuba speaking part the ideology about childhood means that a child is a clue that covers you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and that is subjective so a woman who doesn't have a biological child who could have adopted feels naked and that's why they do all kinds of things because the pressure is so much, mm -hmm. right? So the question I always ask in our out of box parenting seminars is, what is your cultural perspective about parenting, right? And what is the result of your culture? Mm -hmm. Can you show me the yes. result of your yes. culture? Yes. If the result of your culture is not inspiring, it's not well something, said. then you need to crush it and change it. I know that something right. is fundamentally wrong mm -hmm. because a culture that promotes this kind of thing that gives forcefully gives a child so to a an father. irresponsible person mm. ah. to the point where the child becomes that violated, let's let's then that, that culture is subjective. Foundation. So a dysfunctional father is not who we're talking about here. Well, a father who obviously from the kind of mistakes that we brought this the case in scenario here where it, maybe something happened or even a, a, a failed marriage and then he for certain reasons immaturity he was scared ran away and when he realized his mistakes wanted to be part of his child that's those are the kind of fathers we're talking about but at no talk point about all, all kinds at of no fathers. point should you lay uh, uh, um, care over biological that's relations that's where your point child. is that's the point let, let me sit we're not talking about dysfunctional let, let fathers who sit. abuse children let me who, sit who have not even changed who are not remorseful I, I, about your issue is biological yeah, I, the biological I, I line must not be compromised i, I, I okay. hear you clearly now, now may point, i quickly point go? taken let me take this call so okay. you know, i'll come back to you Tony, are you there yes sir. good Thank morning you. good morning go ahead please all right um i'm a single mother of two okay and um i had my second child and um, she was a premature, and um, I had to take her to Massive Children's Street Hospital. And um, at the point, I, he was not responsible for probably the feeding or everything. I had to take care of the, uh, all the responsibilities of the um, financial and all that. And uh, did they ask him of a milk, for milk money? Do you know he said he doesn't have money, and he left. He left, he said, I'm giving you a break. And that was the last time I saw him. He left that child in the incubator and he left. In fact, he told the first one that, good day. And that was it. And you know what? The family said, uh, uh, the mother, all of the family, they supported him. And the mother had to say, she made a, she made a statement that, let, let us raise the children ourselves. When they grow up, they will know their father. Wow, that's the culture. So that's what do you, and that was it. I, I had to call, I called his people, I called everybody. So now, if this, are you saying that when these students grow up, they will look me into, the, into my face and tell me they want to reunite with their father? They want to. Exactly. Mm. See, that's a crucial mm. point to yeah, exactly. Thank you very much, Toyin. Nima, God forbid, uh, she, God forbid she, what she, she, that she's hurting so much and she decides that, okay, they will no longer be their father's children but my father's children. That's wrong. We're not saying that these children wanting to be related with their father or something in the future. Your heart will heal. You will get past it. It's been destined you will raise your children. But do not try to be the one to break that link. That's okay. what I'm saying. Okay. Not because okay. of what you're hurting. I wanted to uh, go to I wanted to go to the angle of fathers who now have the uh, powers to maintain children and deny their mothers the right to their children because that happens. That's what I face on a daily. 
Some fathers will take away the child and say, okay, because you've broken up this marriage with me, this will be your punishment. Some will take, you know, and use the child against the mother. Because we're talking about women mm. doing it to the fathers. It's also on the other side, and I see that more. And but that's, the place, that's the place of the law where the law now decides who can take custody. And custody. please, let me set this record straight. A good man doesn't necessarily make a good father. Very true. You can have a good man who is a bad father. You can have a good husband who is a bad father. Mm. You can have a good father who is a bad, bad husband. husband. Very enough. Right? True. So you need to understand that this, when you talk about fatherhood, is a role. Right? And there are role descriptions. If you can meet up with that role, you cannot, even if you donated semen, right? It can, it, it's, I mean, it's a sacred title. Right? So we need to understand that or help because I mean you are seeing cases that are coming up. Uh, I don't know what Mariah is going to do. Maybe Please, you Please, I want us yeah. to go to what Twain, because I don't want to lose yeah. what Twain said. Shay. Is this Twain or Shay? Shay. Shay? Last caller. She said that, listen, she's investing so much yes. no. in this child. Mm. She's just thinking as an emotional bill, mm. 10 years, 20 years down the line. Mm. The children will look in the eye. This children will not look mm. me in the eye and yeah. say, oh, I want to look my father. father. Okay. Now, that's where, that's how a woman feels, and that's why she wants to they hold her father. So, so let, let me yeah. tell you, so, that's, that's another extreme, that's what, and that's you. another extreme in parenting. Now, you don't raise a child for yourself. Ew. You raise a child for himself. So. Mm. Right? So it's an investment that you don't, it's not an investment where you expect return on investment. That's why I always tell people that, tell you, you know, way. you don't raise your child so that your child can to take care of you in your benefits. old age. Wow. Make, I mean, don't sacrifice your dream because, because that's what happened. Say, I stopped my dream because of this student. Mm. No. If you stop that, it's because you lack wisdom because there are ways to do all those ah, things. God bless right? You, so what people are doing is, it now becomes a selfish venture where I'm raising my child so that my child can take care of me. Raise those children to become themselves and let them take their own decision. Mm. But you also nurture yourself and take care of yourself. Right. Don't die for them to leave because mm. if you die, they might grow, grow older. And so what that does is... Well, prepare your mind that they will tomorrow go and meet their father. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It frees you exactly. because so them you those. don't also know what is going on in the life of their father. The man could be genuinely troubled. Exactly. Right? The children okay. might but have the expanded out. The family supported him, quick, him as well too. Let's, let's, let's go on a quick break. Okay. When we come back, we'll try to bring this home so that everybody can go home with something. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your View will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. <laughs> <laughs> but I had a question. So yeah. based on what Nima was saying, who exactly is a dysfunctional father? Because we can't just label every man like that. No For instance, Two Face has seven children okay. from three women. And there were a lady in the US. So, so, um, there was something that broke out, you know, between both of them that she was trying to keep her children away from Two Face because maybe she still had feelings for him mm. and this was her own punishment and it became a big issue. Meanwhile, there's um, David Doe, mm. who his father collected the first daughter, daughter. Imade, and said that two immature children having children mm. and took the and took Imade to mm -hmm. his. Um, sister to take care of. But look at David o now. After two children, it just seems like the perfect father to his two children, children from two it, baby mamas. And we it. were discussing whiskey just last Friday. So who exactly is a dysfunctional father? Okay. Who uh, decides? <laughs> is it the mother? All right. Well, it's not the mother that decides. Um, like I said, when you talk about fatherhood, fatherhood is sacred. Fatherhood is simply, you know, some it's a source. That's what it means. It's the word ab. Right, which is the source from which something flows, right? And it's not just your DNA that flows from the source, mm. right? Your character, mm. your, your discipline, right? Um, your identity, right? So the moment your child can't look at you and say, I want to be like my father, you're dysfunctional. Mm. Well, 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 may, may I say something? Let me paint this scenario to you. Someone just told me, told me about this two weeks ago. Uh, it boils down to the question she asked again about who is a dysfunctional father. A man has about eight children. Mm three uh, boys, five girls, men now anyway, men and women. And the man decided from the onset that he would only send the male sons to school. Yeah. And the girls would, after secondary school, would have to go and get married or yeah. learn mm -hmm. any trade. Now, to the boys, he's a good father. But yeah. to the girls, 
Well, is it? again, so that's why, why you that? say, I, I don't like labels, as it were, because sometimes you don't know the pain in the life of the person you're labeling. Exactly. You don't know his worldview. Yes. You know, we are products of our upbringing. Yes. You know, that man experience. acting that way has been socialized to behave in that way. Mm. That's why we say that you are at the mercy of the seed handlers, the people that engineered you. Mm. Who have they engineered you to be? Mm. They could have engineered you to be a dysfunctional person, mm. right? So awareness is what now comes so in. That's why I always tell people before you get married, you need to check the virus that has been installed in you and begin to uninstall mm. them, mm. right? Mm. A lot of us never uninstall those virus. Mm. So Let me take this call from Jude, are you there? Jude, go yeah, ahead. Good morning. Good morning, Jude. Go ahead, please. <laughs> yeah, I'll be following this program, and uh, the topic is very sensitive. Huh? And uh, your guest in the middle, I mean, the way he went about it, I was touched when he said something uh, about uh, uh, a father that uh, uh, may not be there, he didn't actually at first uh, told us the reason why the father shouldn't be allowed a mean to enjoy parenthood from the father's perspective. Now, let me say this. I am a father. We have some men who the women left. They moved out of marriage on their own supported by their own mother. And the father wants to be there for this child. He pays everything. He's ready to do everything. He is ready to go for open day and everything, but he's not allowed at all mm. to be there. Shouldn't this father be allowed to participate in this child's life when situations come up that require the presence of the father? Thank you very much. That, that, I mean, we've talked about uh, it. Well, I mean, mediation solves that problem. Go to court, right? Um, I'm, I'm sure there are mediators who can actually mediate. And the position of the law is very clear on this, right? If you say you want to participate because both of you actually own the child, right? So if you say you want to participate and the person is not allowing you, they will bring the, the child. Please, Grace, yeah. I have a case yes. on this issue. Yeah. She took the children, ran out of the country. The father is based in the, in the UK and went to the US. She's incommunicable, reachable. We've tried as much as possible to file a suit against her to just to get co custody. The father is willing to raise his children in the UK. He was raised there. She's saying. I think no. it goes back Visiting to what Grace said earlier concerning hurting people. Yes. There's exactly. got a foundation. Yes. Something so. Women like that need counseling. Hurting. There's something she's saying, the pushing thing, him in the knife by is, using the children because she knows it's very So yes. I, ideally, what should have been okay. done is to maybe withdraw the children from them because, I mean, what I see a lot here is. We're trying, I mean, especially for the celebrities. If they have good support They are treating children treat. like trophies. Mm. Right. Yeah. Right? Yes. To get it's back at the mothers to right. say, I'm mm. doing better than your mother. Right. You know, so you are using money to, to flaunt and flaunting right. and say, oh, I'm the one sending you abroad. Right, let's, take a, let's take a few tweets. Yeah. Finally, it says, parenting certificates must be prerequisite for marriage. Iyano says, I had a case where the man had been absent for almost 10 years and he wanted to take the father role in the wedding. That was when I knew giving sperm alone doesn't make you father. Dr. Kike says, great job, praise for where you are so loaded with info. It's obvious that you've been deliberate in growing in knowledge, understanding, application, and maturity. Olua Femi says, Alaja is very correct with reality. She has successfully laid it bare the possibilities that herald irresponsibility of either of the parents in childcare. Biola says a good man does not always mean a good father or husband, mm -hmm. while a good husband. Jimmy says what happened when the woman denies the father the right to access to his okay. children. Uh, that's, that, let's, 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 we have to round up, unfortunately. Praise, obviously, as I said, we, we can't exhaust this kind of story. So maybe we need to bring it back again. Yes, yeah. because People need help. Uh, yeah. But Mariah, can we yeah. ask him a last question, a yes, round enough, right. which is that what should a mother in, in like, um, with kids, baby mama, what should you do in trying to co-parent with, with an absentee father? Well, I've, um, uh, I've highlighted about five different things. You okay. know, I wrote that specifically for her, right, to say that, you see, if, based on the communication I've seen, it doesn't look like we with kid is interested, you know, in the lady, right? Face your cross. Right? right, understand right. that a child is a sticky, a child is a destiny, every child is an answer to a problem. Yes. Right, ensure that that child is raised to become himself. Right, and that's right. what you need to do. Good thing is that she has a job, 
uh, she has a business, right? Focus, ignore whatever. When, and you see, with due respect, we don't know the pressure which kid is facing. Which kid was a child who became a it's star a, overnight. Mm. And in that, with that stardom, became a right. father, mm, right? Yeah. right? Yeah. So the pressure's on him. I don't know what is numbing the pain in his life. So just ignore him and forgive him in advance while you focus on your life and right. thank you very much. Right. So we, 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 we have to run up, but as I said, I think there's so many other angles to this story, yeah. please, that we've not touched at all that we need to bring you back to discuss. I mean, there are lots of women who, they, 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 they are hurt so much yeah. that they are using that child to, as, hurt. to, to, to hurt the, the, man. the man. And the man also doesn't care. In fact, yeah. he, he doesn't he say anything. He he and he, some, some women also feel that they're still in love with that man. Yes. Yeah. So they say, you know what, I love you so much, I'm going to use this child to mm -hmm. get you back. Bah. And he's trying so hard to move away. So mm -hmm. there are so many so that's factors. Abuse, abuse in there, so the we're gonna, and some people need to bring that in the first place to trap the man. Right. Yeah. So we need to bring, you. bring it back. Bring no it to discuss it. All right, I hope you learned a few things as we have. Have a fabulous day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.